Hello and welcome to episode six of Walk With Me, where I get to walk with you. Let's hoods! If I was a gambling man and I bet on you, would I? Would I? If I was a running man and I ran a race for you, Today we're taking a little bit of a different path, one I haven't walked before. So I'm a little bit excited to see where we end up. It's in the absolute opposite direction of the path that I've been walking normally. And as I said, it's completely unknown. So I'm hopefully gonna get some good drone footage. It looks like there's some nice scenery from looking at Apple Maps. But I guess we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, let's feel the burn. I was a music man and wrote a song for you. Would you be moved? Would I lose? If I had an artist's hands and drew the song for you, would you choose to move? Would I lose? If I was a wealthy man and gave it up for you. So, uh, first of all, I want to check in with you all. If you're in the chat for the premiere, watching on the replay, and ask, how you doing? You doing okay? Do something good for yourself today. Oh, we are off on a new adventure. And today's artist is none other than Mr. Smith, the masked marauding musician full of kindness with a secret identity. This dude, is just an all-round master. You name it, he can play it. Drums, guitar, bass, singing. The guy's a jack of all trades. And he's got a heart bigger than a paddock full of race-winning thoroughbreds. And uh, why am I playing his music today? Well because he gives so much to people. He's, he'll drop anything to help you. But at the same time, maybe he's a little bit reserved when asking for help. This is where we need to look out for each other. Pay attention to what's going on in the chats here, what people are typing or what they're not typing. And if you see someone falling down, Treat it like a mosh pit. Put out a hand, reach out, pick them up. Man, Mr. Smith makes some great music. And uh, I'm sure you'd love to know what his identity is. But only I know. <laughs> Oh man, is it getting hot today? Damn. So uh, as you know, I made the decision to not do every day in November. Instead, I think five days a week is a good number. That's 20 episodes. Plenty of time to uh, get some content out, play lots of artists on the show, and get fit while I'm doing it. So after a couple of days off, let me tell you, I thought I'd be able to bounce back. But the legs, they're killing. Fuck these flies too. Yes, I know I've made a critical mistake today. I forgot to slap on some sunscreen. It wasn't sunny when I left. And now it's about 22 degrees. Whew, I'm sweating. But we are 1.2 kilometers in already. 
I'm doing okay. And he fell over again. Oh, that sun. Well, it's sizzling, let me tell you that. I can feel my skin cooking as we're walking. Bloody idiot. <laughs> Never learn. It's mistakes are supposed to make you better. Who's that idiot who keeps telling me that shit? Got to start listening to that person or stop making mistakes. If I was a gambling man and I, I bet on you, would I? I remember when uh, Mr. Smith just, oh shit. I remember when Mr. Smith came onto the scene. What a bang it was too. <laughs> All of a sudden, he just uh, taken a song of Pete Johns's, just downloaded it from YouTube, and just laid some drums to it, and then just sent it back to Pete and was like, "Here you go, mate. Like, who's this guy in the mask? Who does he think he is?" Turns out, he's someone pretty special, who we've all grown to love. And man, can he hit those skins hard! That was an absolute demon. I remember the first time I sent Mr. Smith one of my songs to play drums on. Metheus, World Divided. Not an easy song to play drums on, let me tell you. Because I played drums on the original track. <laughs> There's quite a few takes involved. Man, but every time I see him perform it live, which he's done a crap load of, he makes me look like a singer. Because that's what I am, really. I just pretend to be a drummer. <laughs> One thing about these walks is it's not all hard work. You've got to have some room for play. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the uh, one thing that I'm definitely not doing today is pushing hard. After having two days break, I think it's only sensible to uh, you know, start small again this week. <laughs> We're probably gonna crack in at about three kilometers, and I'm happy with that, that's good. You know, because the last two days, oh my God, did you see? I nearly got swooped by a magpie then. Look at this fucker. Look at it, behind me, can you see it? That thing just swooped my head. Look at it, it's getting ready to do it again. Look at this thing. They're vicious, man. The thing just nearly hit me right in the head. See if it's got the balls to go me again. Come on. Come on, bro. Exactly. You don't have the guts, do you? Run away. Fly, my pretty demon. Well, I don't even know if the camera caught that, but that demon magpie swooped me and I felt a breeze across the top of my head. They're vicious motherfuckers here. They, they thwack you right in the head. They swoop down. They're brutal. If you don't know about it, Google, YouTube, magpie swooping. There's a, oh! There's a, oh! There it is again, did you see that fucker? Holy fuck! Look at it. There it is. Let's zoom in on it. Yeah, you fly away, bitch. Fly, fly. It's gonna come back and get me again, you watch. It went up into those trees. Oh my God, I'm not gonna survive this walk. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk with my eyes looking backwards. Well, that magpie has completely thrown me off. But wait, 
Oh my lord, what have I found here? Another discarded bike? Are you kidding me? They're breeding. So uh, what was I saying before I was so rudely interrupted twice by that fucking magpie? <laughs> Can you believe that motherfucker? I keep looking over my shoulder in case it's, it's stalking me. Anyway, where were we? So the last couple of days, I've taken it kind of easy. Relaxed a bit, had a couple of nice baths, chilled out, pampered myself with fruit, veg, some nice salads, nice meals, and um, we're ready to go for the new week. As I said, <laughs> we're only doing a uh, short three kilometers today, which I've already nearly achieved. We're at 2.7. So everything's going good. And there's another magpie. Just over there. Stay where you are, motherfucker. If I was a gambling man and I, I bet on you, would I lose? Would I lose? As I was talking about earlier. One of the things I love about this community is that people do pay attention. And if uh, someone goes missing, someone's not around, it's good to know that there's always someone to reach out and check up on you. Do you do that? Now, uh, like many of us, Mr. Smith ain't doing so well himself. You know, he's battling some demons. We're all battling some demons. I think that's what's part of why our music is uh, not too bad, if you know what I'm saying. We've got a pretty good community full of musicians who all seem to have a pretty common thread going on. Stuff and things in their lives that are hard and have to constantly be overcome. But uh, I love that we're in a big mosh pit and every now and again, the hand comes out, picks you up, dusts you off. Ready to slam dance once again. I don't think I've uh, told you all today just how grateful I am to uh, have you all in my life. That you come over and watch the silly stuff I do each day and allow me into your world to see the silly stuff you do. Maybe not so silly, but fun anyway. I'm almost at the point. We've done over three kilometers. We're back in the game. I'm excited for the next five days. I'm gonna smash it out of the park. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, I'm in a park. <laughs> How funny am I not? Well, here we are at the start point and there's four magpies. <laughs> at least they're in front of me, okay? I like them in front of me, not behind me. There's actually, look at that one hiding behind the tree plotting to get me. Look at it. They're evil, I tell you. They're evil. Well, that's the end of episode six of Walk With Me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a laugh at two magpies swooping me. Russ. I hope you've enjoyed Mr. Smith's music. The guy's a legend, an amazing artist, and a beautiful human being. Do you know he has a different colored love heart for every lady in the chat? 
That's attentive. What a wonderful soul. So, I'm glad that you were able to once again walk with me because it's been a pleasure walking with you. I love you all. Deal with it. Boom. <laughs>